Oh, what a world this is. Beeb's real and Jeech Chang. So, this is G. <laughs> so, G, I just got off the phone with uh, the Red Cross blood drive. Yeah, do you have to donate blood or something? I, uh, they, they did happen to ask me to donate blood, and so I'm apparently going to be at uh, Via Christi uh, February 12th. I think around like 9.30 to go no donate way. blood. I never yeah. had the chance to do that. You never, like... you, you've never had the chance to donate blood? No, I'm kind of like scared of the needle and oh. blood. Yeah, I would get dizzy and pass out. You would get dizzy and pass out? Yeah, by just looking at it. Okay, so I have I actually had like really bad allergies as a kid. For what? Um, I don't know, just like dogs, peanut butter and stuff. And so like, I would always have to get these shots, and like shots, honestly, aren't needles aren't anything to be mm -hmm. afraid of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like kind of scared of any kind of like medical things. Medical things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I hate hospital. Me. I hate like take medicines and uh, all those things. Like I just hate it. Why do you hate taking medicines? Because it tastes nasty, and I cannot. Yeah, I just cannot do that. It tastes nasty. Mm -hmm. So, uh, G, tell the world where you're from. Yeah, I'm from China, guys. Uh, so, uh, three hours away by flight from Beijing. So it's right in the middle. It's called Chongqing. So in our city, people would like eat any like kind of like spicy food, like, mm -hmm. especially like hot pot. It's kind of like the traditional uh, food you hot must. Pot? Yeah, hot pot. Yeah. What? That's the food you have to get. Like you must go when you go to Chongqing. So when you go to Chongqing, hapa is a must, a must yeah, get. Yeah, a must get. A must yeah. get. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's just like when you go to like Louisiana, you, you probably must get like crawfish, right? Yeah, I yeah, guess. because you, you yeah. went to high school in Louisiana. Is yeah, that correct? Yeah, yeah, New Orleans. So, gee, tell us a little bit about your schooling. My schooling? Yeah, like... Uh, oh, you mean from... From... Um, school? Yeah, from elementary school. Just yeah. kind of tell us uh, that story real quick. All right, so at elementary school, I went to boarding school when I was four or five. So I just, I have to, I only have like uh, two days to, or like four days to go go back home and kind of mm -hmm. reunion with my parents every single month. So I don't really have like too much time to spend with my parents at all. Then I go to my junior high school and high school, like six away six hours away from my hometown. So basically it's like, you know, let's see. So then I got like even lead time to, mm -hmm. uh, then during my high school, second year of high school, I went to New Orleans for like exchange student program. Uh, go back home like every single year, kind of. Then go back Wait, to Wait, you go back home to New Orleans every single year? No, I mean like, I, I studied there for like a year, mm -hmm. right? So I only have like a, Wait, I thought you went to high school in New Orleans for four years. No, just for one year. Exchange. Just for one year? Yeah, exchange. Student. Oh. Yeah. Then I went back to China for my last year of high school, kind mm -hmm. of like uh, applying for like universities, kind of like uh, doing those kind of uh, uh, tests mm -hmm. in order to come to America. So then I'm here in K-State. I uh, can't so, go back home like every single year yeah. for like Wait, three months. Tell us why you decided to. Oh why did you come to K State? God. I have no idea. This is the question like everybody been asking about. Um, I well, I know why why I chose to K come to K State. I was actually born and raised a KU fan. Uh, all right. Why did? Yeah. You... Honestly, um, so I don't. Know, I just I just didn't have like the right feeling for like KU. Mm -hmm. And when I came to Kansas State, it mm -hmm. just kind of felt like I was uh, coming home or something mm -hmm. like that. Like, yeah. definitely the family aspect of uh, Kansas State something very special. Yeah. Definitely. Something very unique that mm -hmm. uh, most colleges don't have. Yeah. So the reason why I came here, because, like, my dad, like, when I applied for mm -hmm. the universities, I applied to, like, eight universities, both in America and Canada. So we are looking for some university are good at architects. Mm -hmm. Like basic, like uh, Kansas State is actually like ranking top 
five or something. Wait, in, where were you right? Inter interior design. For interior design? Yeah. But you're not you're not an interior design student now. You're uh, I'm not now. I mean yeah, like, you're worried, the, really the reason why I came here now. like originally is because I want to be an architect. Then after oh. for, after the first year, I was like, no, probably not. I'm not <laughs> I'm not into that at all. So then I was thinking about like my parents are doing business. I was like, yeah, I'll just go to business. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll just uh, stick to business. Yeah, and also I straight just, up. Yeah, this town is kind of boring. I like, you guys know. So then the second year I went to Japan for like exchange student mm -hmm. program for like kind of one semester. So. Wait, so what countries have you been to? Just Japan, America. Japan, America. Yeah. So I've been to um, Italy, mm -hmm. Spain. So European countries. Yeah, I've been. And then I went to Mexico, Belize. Belize, it is incredibly uh, dirty there. They need a... Well, they just have a bunch of plastic everywhere. Mm. It's, so, it's so littered in Belize. Seriously. Yeah, I, yeah, I they always, need, they I always need to want do to do a better job of recycling and taking care of their land. I always want to go to European country, but I just like have no idea for the visa stuff. Since like mm -hmm. every every single country in Europe is like the border is so mm -hmm. close to each other. Yeah. I don't Actually, know if I want to go to France. Do I have to get a visa? Like mm -hmm. I would definitely like if I go to France I would go to another country besides that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have to get a visa like for all the country I want to go or something like that or there's a visa package for like a visa European, package for European there stuff, should be like, a visa right? package or just yeah. like I don't know you should honestly just be able to go where you want mm, like I, I, I don't know if like there should be like um restrictions on like mm, being able to just be like oh yeah these invisible lines definitely uh Definitely divide us. Yeah, I would have been trying to match these after, lines we draw on a map. Yeah, I would have been trying to after a graduate mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, I don't know. I want to. Yeah. I want to travel the world too. To where? Like, wh wh like, where is the place you want to go the most? I want to go to Germany. So right now, my uh, I really want to go to Germany and I want to go to China. China. Yeah, I want to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Take me to China. Yeah, I will. I will. I don't, I don't know if you, like, right now, is that easy to get a, oh, like, a travel visa or not, actually. Oh, you think I, it might be hard to get a travel visa? I don't know. I think it's pretty easy. For, is it? Uh, for you guys. Or, I think so. I don't, I don't know. I think, except Nixon did, he, Richard Ooh. Nixon was the one who opened the tra travel and bargain way uh, China, so that's the reason why we were... Oh, so like every trade single China, year, yeah. yeah, 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 I see that. Like every single year, you guys like yeah. uh, fall semester, like so mm -hmm. tons of people will go to China. Or... Yeah, yeah. I mean, so one of our fraternity brothers, um, Chad o Osterman, mm -hmm. and then there was. Oh yeah, he went there. He he went to China teaching. Yeah, he went to China to go teach, and then it and then the other uh, Eric Khan. Do you know Eric Khan? Yeah, he's in my city actually. Wait, Eric yeah, Hans in Kaohsiung? Chongqing. Yeah. Chongqing. Oh, yeah. my bad. My bad. Oh, it's still uh, a park, right? It is. <laughs> perhaps. But I think they can still see us. Oh, by the way, uh, if you haven't noticed the flag in the background, that is our uh, fraternity letters. Oh, yeah. Uh, Delta Chi. Delta Chi. Yeah. Yep. This is way too different from like how Chinese people do the live stream. How do you, yeah? Like, how do you Chinese in, people do live right, streams? In, in China, we do the live, and then you know, it has like tons of people coming. Mm. Besides, you can like kind of like talk to them, but they cannot talk yeah. like in voice. But they can actually like, do. Like, well, this the text is this is my yeah. first one. I'm sure people can oh, live chat. Oh but, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but yeah. I I don't know. Just nobody's uh. I don't yeah. even know if anybody's watching right now. Yeah, you know, even right now. Oh, wait, now, there's six people watching, I think? I think so. Oh, yeah. I don't even know how you to know, check even, that. Even right now, and also like in the past uh, couple of years, the live streaming industry mm -hmm. in China is quite big. Like, it's pretty big. Wait, what's pretty big? Like, live streaming? Like, yeah, yeah. Really? Like, people can like earn tons of money from that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Gee, yeah. actually, I'd, uh, oh, that's fine. What was that? 
Oh. Uh, so, um, so a lot of people, Chinese people, uh, smoke cigarettes, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, um, smoking cigarettes isn't that good for you because you have all that uh, extra chemicals. Oh yeah. So I uh, happened to get you a little Christmas present. Seriously. <laughs> I I had to do it for you, man. You know, you know, I love you, G. So um. Also, oh, is this a E say? Yeah, it's uh, so it's an e, it's an e-cigarette. Um, it's called the Pulse Limitless. Uh, once this uh, live stream ends, we're gonna put a link to where you can find it. Mm -hmm. But um, so it uh, it is pretty tiny. Yeah, it so, is pretty tight. So, so just, how how do you put this one in there? Like how okay. how how does this work? So you kind of open it like this, <laughs> and you can tell so... it's uh already filled. Seriously. Yeah. And so yeah, you just kind of like lift it, and you. Um, this is so tightly. Yeah. Mm. And like the nice thing about so, you know, this is kind of like the jewel, except it's a little bit, little bit cheaper. Um, mm. this is. How much is that? It's around like thirty bucks. Mm. And so like I'm pretty sure the jewels, um, they're forty. But this is uh, actually better for the environment mm -hmm. because the pods are reusable, so you're not like creating that extra waste that the jewel does. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, jewels yeah. are pretty cool, Damn. but uh, I'd rather be limitless. Hey, thank you, though. Thank yeah. you, though. Uh, go hey, ahead. I'll try a couple of days and uh, go ahead for what? Like, take a. Take a oh, pull. Oh, no. Take, take. Can I do that? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I would do that. Possibly. Upward. I would do that upward. Oh, right. this is nice. It even have a USB things to charge. Mm -hmm. And then you have your own little uh, juice bottle. Bam. Nice. Oh, uh, right. So, um, we're going to talk about Vikings, right? Or that we, we were going to discuss something along the lines of Vikings today. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure. I have no idea what Viking is, but I think you that's, have no for, that's for uh, the Greek. Great, great, great mythology, something like that. It is. is that um, it? so the Viking mythology is actually a Germanic group of people, mm. and so it's actually Germanic mythology. People call it North mythology just because for some reason that's why it's uh it's more around um that time, but uh yeah, it's so Viking mythology is like somewhere along the lines of like. Thor, Odin, Loki. Damn, is that a Marvel movie or something? It, it is a Marvel movie. So the Marvel, uh, Stanley actually um, took a lot of the mythology mm -hmm. from uh, Germanic mythology and he kind of twisted it and changed it from the actual mythology mm -hmm. and to his own uh, version. Mm -hmm. So comic book Thor is um, different from the actual actual Thor. All right, this is kind of like a teaching class right now. <laughs> the education about is it Viking? Vikings. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god, there's two two people. There. Yeah, only two people are watching right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's pretty good for the first half though. I mean, what can you do? I mean, it's a pretty good one for the first one. Yeah, and yeah. people can always uh, view these uh, later after mm -hmm. the stream, after the uh, live stream uploads. People oh, can, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you have to do something like a make a group chat for your fans. <laughs> yeah, make a group chat for your fans and share right. it uh, that way. Yeah. Um. Possibly. Yeah. Um. So, question: Like, what if you have like tons of fans? How you want your fans to call you? Uh, like call them to contact me? No, call you. Like the name. Like how do you want them to like call you? How do you want to? How do you want them to like name you? If my fans could give me a name. Yeah. Well, I think we should. If I became well, famous. 
Yeah, I yeah, think we, we should let become the, famous. Like, I think we should oh, let no, the people. No, I think that's it. a wrong. Yeah, that's a wrong question. Like, how will you name your fans? How who? Yeah, who, if you who, have like tons of fans, like how do you like call them? I would call them board Republicans. Well, why? Um, because honestly, I'm I'm bored with uh our politics. Mm-hmm. And I actually voted on... Um, and your shirt is, like, bored. <laughs> yeah, so this uh, this shirt is actually um, from a company called Board Republic. They will be making a... It will be coming out with a t-shirt soon, I think. What, what shirt? Um, so the t-shirt will actually be... Um, it's going to be a Vikings-themed t-shirt. Yeah, so, so I mean... Assume. So... Uh, on the top, it's going to say "By Odin's Beard," uh-huh. and I, by underneath that, it's going to be "Perish or Conquer." Do you have a sample shirt? Um, I think I think somebody actually. Oh yeah, Charlie Schmidt um is create create a. Will be creating that shirt. Yeah, he created that uh Breckenridge shirt. Which one? I can get it for you. Oh yeah, sure. <coughs> So yeah, uh, this is the G. Yeah, this is the Breckenridge shirt. Oh, this is a formal shirt. Yeah, yeah. I actually took uh, my date with Kristen Wyatt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That and that uh, that did not much, end well. Please, please call it much nicer. Huh? Last year, the formal shirt is like dark, dark blue. Dark. Uh, we had a formal trip to Dallas last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't get to Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. How was? Well, I'll, I'll put this back, and then we can talk about Dallas. So, gee, tell me mm-hmm. about Dallas. What What did you guys do in Dallas? All right, so that's my that's kind of my first time to mm-hmm. go to the formal. Yeah. formal right so i have no idea i thought we were riding on the bus or something like mm-hmm. that like then end up it's like we have to drive there by ourselves oh so yeah that I, was yeah, that so was we, uh that was kind of that was kind of dumb honestly like we should have <laughs> uh shot them there like together yeah then then it's like we have to be there um saturday no right saturday right saturday we have to be in the on saturday right I, I didn't. I didn't. I I didn't pay attention because I had to be in case. So we leave there for like two. Yeah, I, I think so because that's uh, Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. So we have to be uh in Dallas uh before ten o'clock on Saturday. So me and my date, and she's mm-hmm. currently my Fall, girlfriend right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fall, and yeah. are you gonna marry her? Oh uh, yes, I think so. I yeah, and yeah. Did, who who's gonna be the minister? Yeah, you, right? What? No. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I was just messing with you. Your senator, yeah. Right? Um, right. yeah, I'm actually an ordained minister, so I can marry people. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I got uh, <laughs> um, ordained by the Church of Life. Mm-hmm. I think our uh, AA, Aaron Otto. He will be there. <laughs> no, I, no, um, he also got ordained. Seriously. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that wild? Oh my god, I should probably contact him. Like, Why? I see like, hey Aaron, I'm going to be marrying America. Oh. Are you coming out for like something like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they it's like I, I, Wait, I, when are you when are you getting ma- married? Oh, this topic changes so fast. Sorry. Uh, I have no idea. You have no idea? So, yeah. So that question like, is popping Yeah, because like uh, I'm graduating this master, so mm-hmm. I'm mean, if I didn't find any like kind of jobs or internship, I have to go back to my country. Oh, go yeah. back to China. So then my girlfriend but has like one more year to one more year left. Yeah, right? you graduate. Yeah. So talking about Dallas. So it's like seven hours drive from Madison, Kansas. So I don't want my girlfriend to drive like so long for mm. this like seven hours straight. Yeah, so we, I mean I think there's like trains that you can take or airplanes. No, we drive. So but we, I think tr- I know uh, Jacob Offman took took trains. Yeah, I think he took the train. Ooh, that's nice. We remember in transportations how uh, trains yeah, are yeah, more yeah, efficient. Yeah, yeah. Oh after yeah. taking that, 
I know that class was awful. Oh, that that guy's handwriting is just. Yeah, I so cannot understand the word. Our professor was seventy really, something, right? But yeah, he, he was he was the oldest professor at K State. I think so. Yeah. And Uh, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of like like every gathering, you know. Mm -hmm. Like we just like ha have dinner, like say, and then kind of like get it together in a room, kind mm -hmm. of like drinking something like that, get drunk. Uh, we I think we went to bed like two or three o'clock, mm -hmm. something like that. So then we have like a group dinner together. Yeah. Yeah. Did he? I think so. He's getting kind of mad in the Telegram. Yeah, in the room. Telegram is the group group app. Uh, we all we, we all, all use in our fraternity. Yeah. It's uh, actually an excellent app mm -hmm. that uh, we all use. I think ISIS might uh, use that app. I don't know. It's I... it's known for having great privacy. Unlike a, it's a lot better than GroupMe. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the th one of the downsides to Telegram over GroupMe is that you can't like one of the messages. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right like, now, since I changed a but uh, like it's new, so new it's phone. so handy for like having yeah, because I changed a new number, so then I cannot get to that the original mm -hmm. like the people I have right now. So I probably have to like transfer something from okay. another. The I think the committee is posting something about the KU game tomorrow night. Oh, we got a game tomorrow. Hey guys, I like. <laughs> hmm. Oh, apparently there's going to be a family meeting. For when? Oh, uh. Right now. No, uh, just Monday or Tuesday. Oh, right. uh, I, I think we're we'll planning either Siblings Day or Mom's Day. Oh, yeah, I'm actually pretty really excited for like the committees that I'm on this semester. Like none of those days are related to me because I'm like, I am the only one in America. <laughs> You're the only one. In yeah, because like uh, past cap past years, last year I think. Mm -hmm. We had like a mom's day, dad's day, or something mm. like that. I was oh. I was kind of sad about it actually. Oh. You know? Yeah, because I never really had a chance. Like I was like saying you guys like the the pictures you you guys taking with mm -hmm. your parents or something. I was like, oh my god, that's just hard. Really yeah. Good. Yeah. That is that is hard. Yeah, that was kind of sad. What? I'm really digging those socks. Yeah. Where are they? This is kind of like a taxi or something. A taxi? I think so. It's a car. It looks. It's it kind of looks a like vehicle. a limo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Let's see how many people are there. One, just one right now. Yeah, we only have one view. Maybe people just aren't entertained by us. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Um. Uh, oh, I'm texting my girlfriend. She yeah, said, what about Paul? Yeah, she said she's handing out. I said, like, yeah, do you want to come to meet me afterwards? She said, like, nah, I have to go out for like two hours. I was like, oh, all right, I'll just go back by myself. Mm. Dude, I went to I went to the weirdest uh, party last night. Where? So, um... It was right uh, over by Haymaker. 
Um, it wasn't. It wasn't actually weird. It was. Is just, that a house party? Or? Yeah, it was. It was a house party. So who invited you? Well, so here's the thing. Like, I I kind of just like showed up and like I actually knew all these people. You knew all. Well, no, I knew. I didn't know like all of them, but yeah, like I most of it. I knew most of the, those people. So um. So, I guess it was. I was just kind of hanging out with um. My roommate Saturday, mm -hmm. um, and we were kind of just chilling, doing whatever college kids do. Mm -hmm. Um, and then our friend Jamie comes over. He was like the IFC risk manager president, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Hey, um, let's go. I uh, let's hang out for a little bit, and then we play some video games, mm -hmm. and then like." Around like eleven, we went over to this house party, and it was yeah, it was weird. Like a lot of the people that I know from like Live Watch were there, and then uh, the was that a kind of like surprise to you? Yeah, it was. It was kind of a surprise. I met this guy named Mephsfen. His name means Duke, mm -hmm. which is fairly interesting. Um, yeah, I'm my uh my coworker uh. year i think like i was living with uh three other mm -hmm. uh, americans so there's one night friday night i think it's like the first couple weeks first couple weekends mm -hmm. so people want like we, we just come to a university right we want to go out mm -hmm. for like a have like a party or something like that so then we went to uh they do you know there's a chinese restaurant called happy valley Happy, Happy um, Valley. Yeah. So there's Yeah, like, I've actually heard of yeah. Happy Valley. So there's like a dancing club or something like that. We went there, it's like the we are the only four kind of like bright colored people mm -hmm. there. You know what I mean? Bright colored skinny. Wait, just like really skinny people? It's like uh, I don't know if that I, I'm I'm not being like race or something, right? Mm. So there's like this is the like a black people party. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't, okay. yeah, because my friend is black, and then I uh, also when I went to New Orleans, like oh, yeah. the high school, you know, eighty percent of my friends are I've, black. I've know? always wanted to go to Mardi Gras. I feel like on like Bourbon, Mardi Gras, right? um, Bourbon That's Street. Bourbon Street. It's February. Yeah, in New Orleans, right? Yeah, what? Are you talking about Mardi Gras? Yeah, Fat Tuesday. Mm, yeah, yeah. Do you is know, that coming up? I think so. When is, Do you when know is you, Fat when, Tuesday? I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to look it up right now. You know, in New Orleans, we don't, we, we even have like one week off from school just for. Okay, so are you yeah, Fat Tuesday. Let's uh let's look it up. 